I guess we have to keep going over this because evidently the Hebrew Israelites just don't seem to understand history or don't study anything beyond what they're being told by those in charge of them. And that's one of the problems with those who follow leaderships in religion is that they're basically repeating the same thing that they've heard without actually doing some study. So my man here says that Deuteronomy 28 is about the future and prophesies the so-called African-American has fulfilled that prophecy and no one else has. Would they send you back to Egypt again? And Egypt is referred to as America. Well, here's the thing, here's the problem about that. If you actually looked at the word in Hebrew, Mizraim, it is one, masculine, two, it's plural. Any other time that's been used, it's meaning the literal place. It was used as one of the sons of somebody, which meant the literal person. So it's talking about the literal place. And it's talking about a place you've been back to. They've never been to America. So you cannot use that as a claim because they've never been back to America. So you can't go to somewhere the first time in bondage and then be claimed to be going back to. This is why when Moses talked about it, he was in reference to the fact that they had already been enslaved in Egypt, even though that's false, and they were going back to being slaves in Egypt, the literal place, Mithraim. Now, the other part, if you look at history, study history, when Titus, um, destroyed the temple, destroyed Jerusalem. He sent many Jews to be slaves in Egypt. And no one would buy them. They would, there weren't enough people to buy them. And so they weren't being bought. Plus, it also says that the children of Israel will desire to be brought into slavery and no one will buy them. The African people who were brought to America, the indigenous people who were already in America, did not desire to be sold into slavery. They were snatched away. They lost battles. They were forced into this. They did not choose or say, man, shit, life is hard, bro. But it'd be a lot easier if I could just be a slave. None of them said that. That wasn't the case. And there were many buyers throughout the Americas, the Caribbean, uh, that were willing to buy the slaves because they had to harvest that sweet sugar. So your argument doesn't stand. But as far as those Jews who came through the conquest of Titus, they were sold into slavery. When you go back and you look at, I believe, Nebuchadnezzar, they were sold into slavery back in Egypt. There are different time frames when people, Israelites, were sold back into slavery in Egypt post the so-called Exodus, but yet you want your narrative to fit the transatlantic slave trade so you can feel better about your belief as being a Hebrew Israelite instead of just recognizing that it's bullshit and they found people who are distressed in order to get that message